everybody welcome back to my channel right i've got look at this it's a one row repeat and it's both sided and it's absolutely gorgeous makes a change from sort of just doing the um single crochet or a moss stitch you know it, cr it creates this lovely little pattern here both sided and um you can use both sides i mean obviously there's a slight difference in the pattern here at the front. And a little bit different on the back. But you know what? It's 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 great. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is this is um uh it's made a nice tight fabric. Now this was because I was experimenting and I've used DK yarn, lightweight yarn number three. And I've used a four millimeter crochet hook because I wanted to see how it turns out. So it's good that I've done that because this shows me that this is great now for cushions, cushions, placemats. If you like that kind of pattern, great for runners. This pattern will really look pretty. It's got a tiny little texture on there as well. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to wiggle the work around so you can have a good look. So what I'm going to do now is going to do the actual sample for you another one um and i'm going to i've got a little bit of this uh, number four yarn here which is aaron weight here um in the uk and i'll try it with a five millimeter crochet hook now you can make this with any yarn and any hook if you have only dk yarn and you love this pattern and you want to make it much more softer for a blanket or a scarf use the lightweight number three with a six millimeter crochet hook only use four if you want to make something nice and tight for, um, like I said, for cushion covers and uh, placemats and or anything that you need this stitch for. So it's great on a four. Um, but if you want something softer, lightweight yarn, number six hook. That's what I, I would do. And the Aaron um, yarn, the number four yarn, it's normally a five millimeter crochet hook. So got two options now shall i go for the six or shall i go for the five i think i'll just do the tutorial in five because it's just easier for me to hold but you can use a six six and a half on this one and see what happens so just before i begin it is just two single crochets together and just by placing them in the right place you create this amazing fabric so it's an odd uh you need an odd number of chains okay and uh let's have a look i haven't got i won't give you how many chains you need to do for a baby blanket because obviously this is too tight for a baby blanket so i don't have the measurements written down i if i'm making a baby blanket i would do it in a six so i would then give you the appropriate chain so i suggest just make an uh, a length that you want an odd uh, odd number chain so if you want to do 28 centimeter, uh, 28 inches across, then just do a chain, but make sure it's an odd number for this one. Right, so let's begin. Slip knot, you do your slip knot however you do yours. This is how I do mine. So I'm going to try it with this little bit of four that I have and uh, see how it looks. So I'll do a small sample. If you want to try this with me, with whichever hook size and yarn you've got now, and chain, let's chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That's enough for the sample. Oh, where have you gone? Right, so we're going to work in the bottom chain first. So you want to do two single crochets together, but you want to do, start from the third chain. So you don't count that one, not that one. Not that one go to that one put your hook in pull up a loop then go to the next one pull up a loop you've got three loops pull through all three chain one go to the next stitch pull up a loop and then the next one pull up a loop pull through all three and chain one you want to do that all the way to the row end of the row so you're using two sting, uh, stitches so you're doing two double, double crochets together and chaining one first one that's the second one three loops pull through all three chain one pull 
going through all three chain one when you're left with three stitches that's correct go into the two and do your last uh, two single crochets together chain one and then you want to do a normal single crochet into the last chain that's what you have so chain one and flip your work this is where i need to get my little blue plastic needle to show you so we are still doing uh two single crochets together but where we are going to place them is I'll just stretch the work. So one's going to go here. And the other one's going to go on this side of it. Right here. Okay. The next one. Can you see this little line here? Go to this side of it. So next one goes into there. And then the next one goes into there. You look for the little line again, which is right here. One goes into here and then one goes on the, this side of the stitch. So let's see if we can, I can show you this on camera. Just hope it's not all thumbs. Right, so you miss this one. Can you see the space right here? You go into there, pull up a loop. And then you've got this little thing here. Go into there and pull up a loop. And pull through the three, chain one. You get the hang of it. So this is what I meant by the little split here. Ignore that, go this side, pull up a loop. And if you can put, you can push this aside if you can't see, and one goes into there. Pull through all three loops, chain one. So if I stretch the work, there's the first one. And the other one is right here. Pull through all three, chain one. First single crochet into there and then draw up the loop here pull through all three chain one can you see the line this one go here pull up a loop they go past that stitch that we've just done which is the two single crochets together really chain one and you've got one here into there and then on the other side of this cluster, two single crochet cluster, into there, pull through the three, chain one, and you'll be left with one stitch. You want to go into there, which was the original cha um, two chains that we missed, and single crochet. Now it looks a bit, oh, where do I put them? We'll get it on the next row. Chain one, same again, you miss that one. Do not touch this one. Go into that space there. Pull up a loop. Then the next one is here. Go into there. Pull up a loop. Pull through all three. Chain one. You'll always see a diagonal line. See these two diagonal lines? You want to go in the middle of the diagonal line, if that makes sense. If that's making sense now to you more rather than you just looking at that, every row is going to look the same. So you've got these two lines. Just go in between them there one into there and one on the other side of the cluster and this is all there is to it make sure to chain your one after every two single crochets together Last one might be a bit tricky. So there, I've gone in between the two. Next one is here. Okay, because we need that for the single crochet. So into here, pull up the loop, pull through three, chain one, very last stitch here, single crochet. How pretty. Same again, chain one. You miss that, go straight into between these two diagonal lines. That's the only way I can explain. There we are. 
we go past the cluster, two single crochets, I mean, together, chain one. And it's just a one row repeat. A very simple. I mean, a lot of people don't like the sing uh, single crochet too much because they think it's going to take forever to work up. I mean, it can do, but once you get the hang of the stitches, it's just so easy. So, and you will carry on doing this. I'll do one more row here very quickly. And then I, what I might do is just show you something else before I go. So in between the two lines one goes here one goes past it on the other side pull through the three loops see i'm thinking now that and every uh, every row will be exactly the same chain one return uh, and then you'll get this pattern both sides now I've used, this one was a, a lightweight yarn, number four hook. This one was a number uh, number four yarn and a five millimetre hook. It's still quite dense. It's not blanket material. So what I'm going to do is very quickly, but it's, it's nice. Don't get me wrong, if that's what you like. Let's try it with a bigger hook. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a five millimetre with DK yarn, lightweight yarn. I've got a small sample here of a blue. So I'm just going to do a very small one, okay? I'm not going to do a big one. So I'm gonna quickly just do my six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. I'll just do 11 chains and I'll do the foundation row, which is from the third chain. I just want to see the level of softness. I reckon you will need a six millimeter but do have a do have a practice uh, uh run with your hooks and what yarns you've got because you know if you're creating a certain look and you want it to be really soft then you might have to experiment with different hook sizes because not everybody has the same yarn so let's just see it's chain one i'm just going to go into there and do my yeah it's definitely a lot softer on a five millimeter crochet hook. I think you could even go five and a half to six if you're making a babe blanket that is, or anything soft like a scarf. Just do one more row just to see how I feel about this and then I can tell you. Okay, yeah, there's a lot more spacious and a lot more squishy. So if you want squishy, <laughs> if you want squishy, squishy in this pattern, go for a lightweight yarn. And uh, I used a five, but try five and a half even, or even a six, see how you feel for a baby blanket. Otherwise, if you're making anything else, four, if you want some nice and tidy, tight work, then four is the best one for this. Okay, I hope I've made myself clear. Sorry, there was two different, two or three different things. I don't normally do that, but I do like to give people some ideas. You know, once you've got the pattern, then, you know, you can clearly see it's a lot more squidgy, whereas this is a bit more tough. Right then, guys, thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. Uh, please do subscribe, like and share, and I've got many more coming for you. So I don't have a name for this, if anyone can think of a name. It's just a one row repeat. Very simple pattern. If that's what you like. Thanks guys. I'll see you soon.